New Scotland Yard has given up the call Whitehall 1212. The late Victorian building, headquarters of the Metropolitan Police since 1890, has been left behind by London's impressive growth in area and population. When Sir Joseph Simpson, the Yard's 10th Commissioner, was a young man, Marshal of the Royal Air Force, the late Lord Trenchard, held the office. Now, perhaps with mixed feelings, Sir Joseph looked out on the familiar scene for the last time. For him and his headquarters staff of 2,700, it's goodbye to the famous building on the embankment. The new Scotland Yard is half a mile upstream. For each department of the old building, it was business as usual, until its own zero hour. Direct to the information room went thousands of 999 calls. Accidents, robberies, anything from pub brawls to murder. On the conveyor, bare details to be radioed to patrol cars. The Z cars familiar to everybody. The maps of the yard detail minutely the positions of crimes and motor accidents. First apartments to move out in the top secret operation crowbar were criminal records and fingerprints. These last nearly two million in number. They're almost the cornerstone of crime detection. Scientific classification makes it easy to identify any newly received print if it corresponds with one already here. The old records room contained details of all criminals in the last hundred years. Information here so often a clue to a new crime. A criminal generally has his own methods, frequently making the same sort of mistakes. They are his signature to a new crime. Trolleys in the old building carried records to the department requesting them. But now it was moving night and 60 tons of records were starting the transfer to the new building. and secrecy being vital, each van drew away unobtrusively. What the underworld would have given to hijack this lot. It would have seemed impossible not long ago that this building would not always be Scotland Yard. Sir Joseph Simpson, commissioner for nearly nine years, left many memories behind him as he turned his back on the old headquarters of the Metropolitan Police to preside at the new building. of a great chapter in the history of New Scotland Yard. Broadway, Southwest 1, telephone 230-1212. A building in keeping with our time. The home of Scotland Yard from now on. Automation is the keynote in the new telephone room and many other departments. In direct radio touch with the Z cars are the information room officers, thereby saving vital minutes that make all the difference between getaway and arrest. By computer techniques, any division in the metropolitan area is alerted, and as later information comes in, the conveyors rush it to the department's concern. Today, all but the petty criminals are intelligent, sometimes well-educated. Also, they begin by having the initiative. By car, they can often be a hundred miles away before the crime is discovered. The yard has called upon all the aid science can provide. Automation comes in here, bringing information to the right experts within seconds almost of its being received. The new map room covers more than 500 square miles of the Metropolitan District. Since 1890, Scotland Yard has earned the respect of the whole world. At its new headquarters, marching towards the new century, Scotland Yard.